Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you how to connect your app to Supabase, how to show data, edit data, and how to set up storage. So without further ado, let's start. First step is that we need to head to settings. Go to Supabase and click enable. Then we need to head to supabase.com and create account in here. Now when you have a created account, open up a new project. Give your project a name, then password, then choose the region. I recommend that you select country that is closest to your user's country. So for this I am going with Germany, and then proceed. Now in here, first thing what we need is the project URL. Take a copy of this and go back to your app and paste it in here. Then for the anonymous key, take a copy of this, go back to your app and paste it in here. Now we cannot get any schema because we have not built it yet. Let's go back to Supabase. You can see here that project is getting set up. This will usually take a minute or two. Okay, great. Now go to table editor and create a new table. Give your table a name. Then we can add columns in here. So our first column will be called title. Type will be text. Then let's add second one. This will be image. And type will be text. Our third field will be is a shoe. And type will be Boolean. Then we can save this. Perfect, now we have empty table. Then we can go to storage. Create new storage and give it a name. For this tutorial, I will be setting this up as public bucket and save. Now, let's upload image in here. And now we have our product image in here. Click on the image. And then get URL and go back to table editor. Click on products and insert a row. Our ID will be automatic. Our title will be black t-shirt. For our image, let's paste the URL. And as a shoe, we can set to false. Then save. And now we have our first row. I am going to add a couple more rows in here using same method. Now we have our products in here. Then we need to edit Supabase rules so we can use them. Click on Add RLS Policy. Then create a policy. Click this. And switch this to All. You need to edit this before publishing your app because now the rules are set up way too open, but for this tutorial it will work fine. Then click on Save Policy. Perfect. Now it's time to show data. Go back to Flutterflow. Click on Get Schema, and now we can see our fields in here. Then go to Homepage, and add List View in here. Then inside the List View, we want to add text. Then let's wrap this text widget into a row. And inside the row, we want to add image. Let's make it a bit smaller. Now it's fine. Click on the list view and add a query to it.
our query type will be super base. Table will be the one that we just created. Now, if you like, you can filter this query. For example, you can filter all the items where shoe is set to false. But for this example, we are going to leave this empty. Then click on confirm. Now let's give value to our text and image. Click on the text. Add value, products row, and title. Then give it some default value and confirm. Then for the image, products row, image. And now that's all set. Then it's time to add action to our app that allows us to edit document. Click on this row, add action. This will be update row. Then select our table. Then we will have to point what row we want to update. And because we want to update the row that we just clicked, we will set this to ID must be equal to products row and ID. Perfect. Then we want to set up what we want to update in that row. Add a field. Switch this to title. And let's give some random value for this example. Now add one more action to this chain. This will be refresh database request. And select the list view. Then we can close this. Also change this text color. Sometimes text will appear invincible if you don't do this. Then we can try out our app. Okay, so now we can see our products in here. And if we click the row, it changes the text to no t-shirt. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.